Hey, beautiful people, how's it going? I'm your girl, Hot Girl Tail Shay, obviously. And I want to do y'all predictions. This is going to be September 2nd through September 6th, which is Monday through Friday. All right, these are general, so take only what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to do your day to day. Okay. Um, my voice has, I lost my voice over the weekend, so I'm trying to get it together, okay? But I know I got to keep going and keep posting. All right, so we're gonna do if I, if y'all if y'all don't get another video from me this week, just know it's because of my voice, okay? Um, but I'm gonna do my best. Go over to Twitter if you want if you do like my collectives, I do post over there. I try to do it every day. Um, just lately, my voice just been acting really crazy. I'm not sick or anything. Like I feel good. It's just my voice, and I'm like, what is going on? So we're gonna get through this in Jesus' name, okay? <laughs> All right, spirit angels and sessions, tell you about Please protect me as I get these day-to-day -day messages out for the collective side. So good. Please show the collective what they need to know and be aware of at this time. Anyone speaking in another energy, doing anything towards me, or myself, channel, family, friends, please return that energy back to spirit. All right. So spirit, September 2nd on a Monday for the collective, what do they need to know and be prepared for or be aware of? September 3rd on a Tuesday. September 4th on a Wednesday. September 5th on a Thursday for the collective. And September 6th on a Friday for the collective, okay? So you'll have five messages on your day today. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? September 2nd on a Monday. It says you're going to be the one who got away. Ooh. So some of you are in this energy where you know, like, how good you've been to somebody. Or you just know for a fact, like, look. This ain't working between us. I don't know what the issue is, but some of you have already made up your mind. Even if you are connected to this person, you just gonna you you kind of look at the situation like I'm gonna be the one who got away. Like it's just some certain shit that I just cannot put up with. Okay, so let's see about it, spirit. And I think I'm gonna use these to clarify. Let me call you these messages for the collective size of this spirit. What is that they don't be aware of? It says you're going to be the one Monday, September 2nd on a Monday. The collective will be the one who got away. Yeah. You are somebody's wish. Somebody here may be praying that you don't be the one who got away. Okay. Um, they know that you may end up being the one who got away if they don't get their shit together. There could be some type of separation or maybe your person may end up separating themselves from you because they feel some type of guilt or ashamed or embarrassed about something that they've done. They know they're in the wrong. And there's somebody here who could be very hot and cold. All right. So let's, let's, let's get into it. So Monday, September 2nd. It says the collector is going to be the one who got away. But you are somebody's wish. Like, so you are somebody's prayer. You are somebody's prayer, collective. September 2nd on a Monday. The collective will be the one who got away. Yeah. Some of you, it's just too many fights. It's too many arguments. It's just too much of something. Somebody here could be having a competition. This could be a Leo or a Libra. All right? There's somebody here who, it's like they're going to, it's like they're going to do get to the point where they're just going to end up, you're just going to cut it off, okay? But, yeah, somebody here trying to have you some type of competition, and I feel like you're not going for it, and they end up breaking their own heart, okay? There's somebody here who could be suffering over something, and it may just be too, or maybe just be too much of a battle. What is this Five of Wands energy? The collective will be the one who got away. Yeah, could be coming from an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This somebody here, maybe for maybe there's a fight that's gonna happen or a fight that happened that pushed you and somebody away. The truth came out or had to come out. Clarify the King of Swords. You're the one who's gonna the collector will be the one who got away. Yeah. Cause that's some of you, this person, they were carefree. They held back, they lacked commitment. And now this person regrets not committing to you, not stepping it up for you, not doing right by you. Yeah, this is my here. You're going. You're determined to leave, or you're gonna be in that in that position where you're like, look, I'm letting go. I'm stress free from all this. One more, September second on Monday. Collective will be the one who got away. Yep. 
Either you know this deep down or your person knows this deep down. But I feel like for some of you, they're going to keep trying to fight for you. Keep fighting for your love. But it may be juggled at this point. Because a lot has changed on your end. Somebody looks at you as like very divine. You're very spiritual. You're very knowledgeable. You have high morals. What's the high priestess for the collective is one who got away? Yeah, somebody here may know that they're going to end up missing an opportunity with you. Because why does this person, it could be a cancer. Why does this person feel like they're going to miss an opportunity or... There could be another energy around this person who may be not able to let go. Queen of Cups in reverse. Why do they feel like they're going to miss an opportunity with the collective? Yeah, some type of ending may take place or has taken place. Could be a Scorpio. Gemini Cancer. There's somebody that's very insecure and codependent over your person. Queen of Cups in reverse. The collective is the one who got away. They're going to be the one who got away. Could be an Aries. I feel like somebody, I feel like this is a third party. Yeah, I see. And I feel like your person's having a hard, maybe either having a hard time trying to make a choice or somebody's making it hard for your person to move on. I'm seeing there could be like some involvement with others, like there could be um community of people involved. But I feel like you're gonna get to a point where you're like, look, I don't have time for this and I'm backing away. That's the type of energy that I'm getting. It's like I'm done, it, it is what it is. If you can't make a choice, I'm gonna make a choice for you. Or if this person did make a choice with you, but they're still giving off vibes like they can't get their shit together, you're like, Yeah, I'm done. I don't know who that's for, but somebody, you may end up getting to a point where you be the one who got away and this person knows that's something they're going to have to live with. You getting away from them because they can't get their shit together, because they can't get their focus on you, on the connection, give you 100%. Because their mind is either focused on somebody else or somebody's making it hard for your person to really move forward. Okay? Let's see, September 3rd on a Tuesday, Spirit, what we have for the collective? Yeah. Stuck on you and only you. So, somebody here, I feel like they don't want to lose you, but they could be on the verge of losing you for good this time. And they may deeply know this. I don't know if there's somebody here who's already trying to disconnect from you or what, but yeah. Tell me about this spirit. It says September 3rd on a Tuesday. Stuck on the collective and only the collective. Stuck on the collective and only. Yeah, because somebody loves you. Somebody here is going to keep fighting for you in whatever way that they possibly can. Okay? There's somebody here who wore a mask in the connection or was masking their feelings. There's somebody here who's like, can I get you off their mind? Constantly wanting to be around you. Constantly blowing up the phone. This is giving energy of somebody that's around you. This is not giving me no more. Maybe the readings I've done in the past, maybe I've let somebody come back. But it's still a lot of things that this person got to resolve on their end. September 3rd on a Tuesday, it says, stuck on the collective and only the collective. I love you. Yeah, look, Eight of Cups Universe. Somebody don't want y'all to walk away, collective. Oh, Yeah, could be a Pisces, Libra energy. But this person was very sneaky with a third party. You found out something or something is going to be revealed about a third party. That's, that's it. And I feel like you're at the point like, you know what? <laughs> Let me go on about my business because you clearly not changing. Eight of Cups in reverse. Can't walk away from the collective. Yeah, look. <laughs> because they love you, collective. This person loves you. And I feel like they want to move forward with you. They want to have this happy life with you. Somebody here wants to be your husband or be your woman. They want to commit to you. And they're holding on for their life. They know that with you, it'll be so much success. Y'all will be traveling. Y'all will be having a good time. Like, they know that the love is there. One more. Why can't this person walk away from the collective? Yeah. Some of you, you are very fun. This person looks at you as a friend and a lover. It's like you give out the whole package. Could be a cancer. And I feel like this person will end up regretting making the decisions that they made because they couldn't get their shit together. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. They couldn't get their shit together in time. Stuck on the collective and only the collective September 3rd on a Tuesday. Yeah, somebody here, they're like, they're very curious about you. Like, they're very curious to know, like, how life will be with you. Somebody here constantly watches you. 
okay? It's like that you bring this person a lot of fulfillment, a lot of joy. Like, this person feels accomplished to have you. And they're obsessed with you, Collective. That's why they can't let you go. They got strong-ass obsession for you. Like, the feelings are there. When they say they suck with you and they love you, they love you. Big time. Okay? Let's move forward. September 4th on a Wednesday for the Collective. Look, a lot of people envy you. So, you got haters possibly due to being with this person or because you went around this person. Or because maybe a karmic feels some type of way about you. But everybody got something to say about you. Okay? Let's see why a lot of people envy you. So can you clarify for the collective for September 4th on Wednesday? It says a lot of people envy the collective. Why is this? Maybe because your person's always like finding you or always like... I don't know. It says GPS. Give me one more. A lot of people envy the collective September 4th on a Wednesday. Maybe because your person always, it's like the, maybe the connection ain't never really done. It's never really over. Somebody may be jealous of your car, envy what you drive, how you live, what you do for a living. Maybe somebody envies you because they don't know where you start. It's just a lot, okay? It's like somebody here. Trying to get close to you, trying to figure out what you do, how you do this, what you do. But Spirit said that's their karma. They keep on. If somebody keep fucking around, they're going to find out. Somebody going to get karma. Whoever they say envy you, <coughs> they get, they're they going to get some type of karma. And somebody here who, got a, who done had a mental breakdown. Look, could be a lot of drama behind your person. Wow. Okay. But a lot of people envy you because of who you are, how you look, how you carry yourself. September 4th on a Wednesday, a lot of people envy the collective. Why? Yeah, because some of you, you don't take no shit from nobody. Some of you, this may be even telling me that at any point, any time, you may pull up if you have to, okay? You you may get some shit off your chest if you got to. Or you're going to find out something. You could be a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You got Virgo energy too. But this might hit you like you set clear boundaries. And this could be just a general message, okay? A lot of people know how to be anything about your person. This could be just spirit saying that people just envy the, the person that you are. There's somebody here who envies, like, um, how you live and what you do for a living. And, and it's like they wish so much bad on you, but then they turn around and they get the worst. They get the worst. And you may never see it. You may never know it. Ain't nobody going to really put out, oh, I just did this. They, they could have had a whole a bunch of bad luck for a whole two or three weeks. Because they keep bringing you up or talking shit about you. But whoever this is that's mad at you, Collective, like I said, this don't have to be about a lover. This can be about just in general. The way you carry yourself. You're very direct. You're very real. Okay? You're going to keep 100. You're going to say what you need to say. So this could be somebody at work who feels some type of way about you. This could be a family member, a friend. Like, you're very direct. You're very direct. You know what you want and you're not settling. Why do a lot of people envy the Collective? September 4th on a Wednesday. A lot of people envy the Collective. Yeah, some of you, because you're very creative, okay? You know how to make nothing out of something. You know how to get shit done, okay? When you say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Some of you, you're very smart. Some of you, you definitely have, like, you could be into, like, businesses or let's say you go to school, you always pass your test. People envy that. Let's say you work really hard. You always know what to do. You know how to talk to your customers. You know how to get shit done. You know how to you know get it done on your time and people still working hard okay if it is about a lover there's people who don't like the fact that you know you're able to keep this person around somebody may be thinking you're doing magic to keep your person around okay and you're like thank god shit this is just me this is just who i am somebody has the fact that you're able to travel and live your life the way you do okay a lot of people envy the collective september 4th on the wednesday why do they envy the collective yeah some of you you could be they could know that maybe somebody got, like, strong feelings for you. You always get, like, the, the good relationships. Somebody envies how you get the good relationships, okay? They like they, they, they see everything coming together for you. Somebody could be, that could be a, a karmic who envies you because they feel like your person is going to change for you or get, like, this happily ever after, okay? What's the lovers? For a lot of people envy the collective, the lovers. Somebody here, like, hates the fact that you, you know, <laughs> you get a lot of lovers, okay? Like, you can do that, okay? Yeah, see, like, maybe some of your, your love life is balanced, and it looks good, and, and everything is going great, and people envy that. Somebody envies the fact that you and your person, 
like still got peace. Y'all love each other, you know? It, it's nothing but love. You know, and people envy that, that your person comes around you or y'all hang out or, and, and like, you still not stopping. Like, some of you, you're not hell bent on your person like you used to be. Some of you are really in your bag and you're focused on what's ahead. Some of you, people going to envy you because they feel like you're changing that player in your person. They feel like you're, you're, you're going to get the best of your person. And y'all, some of you, you may, you might, you just might change this person's life for the better. Okay. So let's move on. September 5th on a Thursday. Miserable without you. Somebody here is just feeling miserable without you. Okay. It's like they don't know what to do. They don't want to lose you. But, you know, maybe other shit, or, shit is on their mind. Somebody's been hit with a, with a lot of drama. It's what I keep hearing. Drama, third party, and choices. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So September 5th on a Thursday. Miserable without the collective. So we got some type of shocking news, bad news. Why is the collector's person miserable without the collector September 5th? Some of you, somebody did some spell work. I told y'all. Somebody here trying to do some spell work, and you may find out about it. Either through a reading or something. Miserable without the collective. Shocking news and spell work. What is this about, Spirit? September 5th on a Thursday. Toxic lifestyle. Somebody here don't want your person to change collective. They would rather your person be stuck in their ways and be out here living a reckless lifestyle. But see, you bring peace in this person's life. You make this person feel so much better. Okay? Like, you are the real deal. You are the whole package. Regardless of what may be taking place. Somebody here may be doing a lot of drinking, a lot of partying. So let's see. September 5th on a Thursday. It says miserable without the collecting. Shocking news drinking. Yeah, because you're the one. You are the one that this person sees themselves married with, having a family with, settling down. Your, your loving is very, it's there. It's successful with you. Like, you can't make this shit up. 1717. Somebody here is proud to have you, to have known you, to have been with you. You are that girl. You are that guy. Do you you feel like an accomplishment. Like, even if it never works out again, this person will be like, yeah, you know, one day I had me a bad little thing, a fine little thing, okay? And it was a collective. You know, somebody here is just going to see you evolve into the man or the woman that you want to be, okay? Or that they never thought you could be because, you know, maybe it, it takes, sometimes it takes us to go through a lot to really change our ways. But some of you about to start dressing different, looking different. Like, you about to start being in, the, in your bag for real, okay? And you're and this person feel like you're always growing. Every time this person going to see you, they're going to see you evolve. They're going to see you grow. They're going to see you do everything that you said you was going to do. Miserable without the collective, September 5th on a Thursday. Yeah, I'm telling you. Like, this person could be waiting on you, the Taurus energy. They're going to be working hard to come back towards your collective, I'm telling you. Or they're going to have work hard to stay in your life. Why is this person miserable without the collective? Yeah. Some of you, you're very independent. You look good. You're determined to win in life. And you fulfill this person's wishes. And that's why they can't really let you go. I feel like somebody is in your life, but they're not doing 100% right by you. Because there's still some attachments. Miserable without the collective. Yeah. They try to look. They want to come here with the truth. Or they want to be positive about it. Because they want to have this happily ever after with you. They want to have this fulfillment. They want to get things done with you. And I feel like that's why they're rushing in to have some type of like level of commitment with you. Like propose something here to you. To let it be known, look, I love you and I'm here. Why is this person going to feel miserable without the collective on September 5th on a Thursday? Because it's like they have this strong desire for you. It's like they, want, they have this potential to like want to do things better, do things right. They want a new opportunity here with you. They want some type of growth. And somebody's manifesting you in their life. Even though things may be unclear and uncertain, I feel like this person does know that they really want to be with you. So somebody here could be doing a lot of soul searching, taking some time for themselves. Okay, so we got September 6th on a Friday. Yeah, y'all got somebody in their feelings collective. Mm -mm -mm.
September 6th on a Friday. So deep in that door is about to collect it. Yeah, somebody's not happy. They are not happy. Yep, and for some of you, it's because there's a psycho crazy ex who's obsessed and won't let go. And it's going to cause you and your person to drift away because some of you are like, I'm not putting up with this shit. I don't know what it is, what it is, but you need to fix it. And your person's like, I'm trying, but she won't leave me alone and he won't leave me alone. Yeah, somebody watching you from a secret account that could be, you know, trying to write you, talk shit to you, okay? Or writing shit to your person. But there's somebody here who's a crazy psycho ex who will not let go. They will not let go of the person. They constantly want to bring the person down. It's like this person may want control over your person and your person may not be giving them that. And they're not happy about that at all. They're not happy. Clarify September 6th on Friday. So deep in their feelings, not happy. Yep, look, could be a Libra. Okay, four swords in Somebody's burnt out. They're thinking deep thoughts about you. They're stressed. Somebody here want to come home to you or have a family with you. But some of you, you may end up pushing this person away because you feel like there's still a lot that they need to figure out. Why is the four swords in reverse? So deep in their feelings. Four swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody here may not be doing good financially. Could be an Aries. Things can be very stagnant. Your person can be restless, stressed, stressed the fuck out. Four swords in reverse, so deep in their feelings. Yeah. See, somebody who could have overly committed to something else and they failed could be a Capricorn. There's no balance. They need to re reprioritize everything. They could be feeling a little bit organized, overwhelmed about every and anything. But somebody here put a lot of work in for something and they got taken away from them. So deep in their feelings, four swords. <coughs> so this shows me that this person's going to be in their head by the end of the week. Some of you are thinking about you and how to be a provider for you and how to be the man or the woman for you. Somebody here wants to step it up for you. They really do love you. And that's what they're thinking about. They're thinking a way like how to show you that they can love you. How they show you. How can they show up for you? How can they show you that they are this type of man or that type of woman? There's somebody here who do not want to lose you collective. Yeah. It's like they want to have the second chance with you. They want things to be divine. They want to work towards it. But for some of you, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. And some of you, you may be already aware of that. But at the same time, you're like, I'm not stopping my life because of the decisions that you got out here and made. Some of you person could be doing some time in jail. They want you to sit and wait. You're like, I can't wait. I can't guarantee you that I'm going to wait. I can't do it. Like, uh, I got other things that I got to work on. I got a, I got children to worry about. I got family to worry about. You know, like, you're just like, I can't do this. I get it, you know. But at the same time, you know what you want and you know what you deserve. And some of you done been through the ringer, been through the fire with this person. So, some of you like, look. You need, to get a, you need to take some action towards this karmic or other person that you want to call them. Get a restraining order. Do something about it. Like, you tired this person trying to take the easy way, way out. Yeah, somebody heartbroken. Yep. Anything else the collector needs to know? Yeah, somebody here wants to court you. They want to take you out. There's somebody here who feel like they want to do right by you. They want to meet up. They want to have fun with you. Yeah, but see, there's a third party involved. There's, I'm telling y'all, there's a third party who cannot let go. And it's a lot of mystery behind that. Some of you, your person chose, you know, is one work with you. Or for some of you, this your person may feel like they got to go back to this third party. And they're going to be so heartbroken. Because they, it's going to make you feel like, for some reason, they're going to have to choose the third party over you. I don't know why. What is this third party energy? Somebody here may be doing something like, okay, so a proposal came out and then we got hookup, but wearing a mask, karma. So I feel like for some of you, your person wants to be with you, okay? They want to be with you. They want to they want to work things out with you. But there's a karmic that for some reason, there's still some type of, I don't even feel like it's genuine feelings because mask is at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why they're proposing anything to a third party. Some type of offer. What is this offer, this proposal for this third party energy? See, a snake charmer. Okay, this is somebody here who's like, 
What is it? What is? What does this person know about this third party? What does it tell this person know about this third party? Or what's going to come out? <coughs> I told y'all. They're going to end up sleeping with this person. But if they do go back to a karmic spirit says that she's going to go up in flames. For some of you, we got the same flame card. For a lot of people envy you. There's a third party who potentially is upset because they know that your person's in love with you. Your person is going to have some type of fling with a third party. And you're going to find out about it. When things have been a mystery where your person has been. Something about financial reasons. So for some of you persons going back to this person for financial reasons. But it's going to go up in flames for a third party situation. Why is a third party situation going to mess up the bond and eventually? Yeah, because your person just wanted to hook up. And still be single. Some of you person was, some of you this already happened. They already played a third party or a third party trying to play your person. What is this third party's um, purpose in the collective person's life? This is my head your person took a chance on. But now things are unknown. And it could be behind some money. How does this third party feel about the collective? Yeah, they're getting a lot of signs from the universe. That they, you know, better change and get their shit together. Or they feel like your person's about to change. They're getting signs from the universe. And for some of you, it's telling them that, you know, you're changing and, you know, they better not fuck around. They're going to find out. How does a collective person feel about the third party? Yeah, I know. They're very confused. They don't know what, what to do. They could be in between lines. They could be like friends that are involved, but it's behind finances. Unknown. I'm telling you, your person is only on a mission to possibly hurt this karmic or because they have some type of hidden motive and they're trying to conceal their feelings. Your person's not going here to really propose and be with them. And there's going to be some friends that support your person. Your person may end up doing something while they're drunk. Wow. Okay. But it's a toxic relationship. They may be telling this karmic, oh, I'm going to marry you and I'm going to do this and go do that. Lord have mercy. What else is coming to be aware of with their person September 2nd through September 6th? <coughs> so we got unexpected romantic feelings. Okay. So somebody, they, they love you. They care about you. What's unexpected? Surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual. Somebody here may be trying to come home or trying to be with you, try to live with you. They want a relationship. They want to be like boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay? But somebody here wants to, is planning on coming towards you, coming home, making something here right with you. Okay? Yeah, you got somebody who wants to change. Somebody sees you changing or they know with you they can change and actually have a, 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 a good life. Yeah, reconciliation. This person ain't going nowhere. They are not leaving you behind. I don't care if a third party is trying to be a, uh, whatever. The person said they're coming towards you. And somebody here is, is not playing. Look, and this wanted to pop out because somebody here feels like y'all are meant to be. Okay, with you, it's better. Like, they feel like you are destined to be together. Yeah, somebody here that may want to party with you, have fun with you, celebrate. She's some, some type of celebration could be coming. They may give you money for it. Yeah, somebody here also got a toxic attachment to you. And they are fearful of losing you. Like, really, really fearful of losing you. Yeah, somebody who got a toxic attachment towards you. And it may, and, and it's possible because they know you're the one. They want this forever. They don't want you to be the one who got, got away. And somebody's going to keep fighting for your love. They feel like this is forever. Forever. Yeah, but see, there's some type of snake energy around. What is this snake energy? Oh, heavy snake energy. So cleanse your energy. Somebody here could be trying to make your person very fearful to the point they may end up ghosting you. Okay, so keep that in mind. 
Deception, shady. Enemy. There's an enemy, a heavy energy. Maybe more than one enemy around your person. Yeah. Pray over your home. Okay? Where you lay your head at. Because there's an ex-lover who is not over your person. They feel like it's unfinished business. What is the snake energy? Who is the snake energy? It's somebody here who thinks that they're your person's soulmate. So they're going to try to break y'all up. There's something that's going to be happening. September 2nd through the 6th. Yeah. Something is going to... So, there's a snake that is around your person that caused your person to to ghost you because they still want to be tied up into your person. And I feel like it's going to push your path and just let it go and release it. But I feel like this person will not stop texting you. They're not going to want to stop reconciling with you. Okay? But but they're trying to let this third party make you feel like they're winning. Wow. A reunion, second chance, back together. They're not going to, they're, they're like, as soon as they get over there, they're going to be like, fuck, I miss the collective. I want to be back with the collective. Yep. Heartbroken. Because they know that you're the real soulmate. You're the one that they want. Y'all may see something on social media, too. Yeah, y'all two got unfinished business. It's not over. Why is there unfinished business between the collective and the person? Spirit said it's heavy unfinished business. I told y'all something about social media is going to take place. The person could be spying on you heavy this week. And that become very unexpected because they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side. But see, like, you're changing for the better. And this person has a magnetic attraction to you. It's just something about you. And this person is very afraid that they're going to lose you. What is spying on finished business? Yeah. But if your person becomes friends on social media with this ex or this third party... It's because they're trying to get this money. And in the bound timing, you will see that they only tried to, was wearing a mask. So I feel like there's some type of like, um, some type of like, something is not resolved yet with a third party, but there's a third party you can't let go because they know about you. They know your person is stuck with you. They know your person loves you. And they're not ready to let go of your person just yet. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Colette. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, and I will talk to y'all later, okay? Peace.